Prologue, Monday, July 25th, St. Louis. Two minutes. Wait two minutes before reading the results. She set the alarm on her wristwatch for five minutes, just to be sure, and left the bathroom. In the kitchen, she paced between the refrigerator and the doorway, a dozen, then two dozen times. She was never late. She had to be pregnant this time. At 32, her ever-ticking biological clock grew louder and more urgent with each passing month. For months, she researched, planned, and when the time came, she executed it flawlessly. As soon as he introduced himself to her, she knew he was the one. Just like Mr. Daly, he was intelligent, successful, driven, but he was also a man of character and integrity. Granted, she wore him down and led him to compromise some of that integrity, but he would recover. Most importantly, he would never leave his wife for her. Once or twice, she allowed herself to wonder what might have happened if she met him ten or fifteen years ago. Maybe things would have been different. Maybe she would have been different. The alarm on her watch beeped. She rushed to the bathroom and snatched up the plastic stick. Positive, she was pregnant. She fumbled to find the package instructions and reread them slowly and carefully. Two lines, just like in the picture. She was pregnant. Light-headed and unsteady, she sat down on the edge of the tub and focused on her breathing. Be calm, she coached. But then she indulged in a moment of pure satisfaction. She did it. She was going to be a mother. This was her one chance to redeem herself to prove that she wasn't completely messed up. After one more deep breath, she stood and checked the calendar. It was July now. That meant April, or maybe early May. A spring baby. A boy. A boy, with his father's square jaw and broad shoulders. She smiled and gently lay a hand low on her belly. First things first, however. She had to get rid of Chuck, he could never know about the baby. That would protect him and prevent anyone from getting to her through him. He was leaving town this morning for Kansas City, giving her a day or two to set things in motion. She would tip off Chuck's wife that he strayed and then play the part of the scorned lover. Chuck would have to marshal all his energy and attention to appease his wife. He would be more than glad to let her fade out of his life. Just for safety's sake, she would file a lawsuit accusing Chuck of harassing her. It was utterly groundless, but it would keep him from contacting her. He wouldn't want anything to do with her ever again. By the time she began to show, she would drop the suit and simply disappear.